What is up everyone, Andrea Photo here, coming to you with yet another film photography video. Uh, for today's video, my family uh, took a trip down to the Gupan um, and we visited some beaches over there. So this is the first time that I brought the Bronica ECTL with me to a beach. This is the first time I'm shooting medium format on a beach. The film I'll be shooting in this video uh, are a bunch of Ilford XP2 Supers. Uh, Fujifilm Across 2 and yeah I'll be shooting black and white for this entire video uh, for those of you who don't know my wife's family is originally from the Gupan they have some business down there that they needed to attend to and me and Gia oh uh, came yeah. along with them in order to explore the many beaches of Lingayen Gulf the Gupan is very very different from Baguio City if Baguio Baguio's cold green mountains are uh, contrasted with the Gupan's hot open spaces and multiple bodies of water. So yeah, I took my I took the Bronica ECTL with me. If you guys haven't noticed, some of the photos that I'll be sharing from the Ilford XP2 Super 400 that uh, that I shot were affected by the dreaded spotting or mottling issue that is very common to 120 films of Ilford, especially in the tropics. Uh, I've covered this a little bit in another video. You can check it out with the link over here. Um, but this Ilford XP2 that I shot wasn't that affected as compared to the first roll of Ilford XP2 Super that I shot with the dreaded mottling and spotting issue. So yeah, um, I'm very, very happy with how these scans turned out. The scans for all, all photos taken for this video were scanned and were processed and developed by Sunny16 Labs. This is my first time to use Sunny16 and I am blown away by the quality of the scans, the quality of the development. Okay, oh, so another, on another note, um, this is my first time also shooting Fujifilm Across 2. So I was very surprised to find out that the Across 2 I was shooting was also, also had mottling and spotting issues, but it was way heavier than the XP2 Super that I shot. So um, I asked a few friends, uh, shout out to Jut Pineda, and shout out also to Nino Nicolas. They were able to point me in the direction that said that apparently the same guys who, who manufacture Ilford's 120 film also manufacture Fujifilm Across 2. I don't know how, uh, how, how accurate that information is, but that's the word on the street. And I was very, very surprised to find that this roll of Fujifilm Across 2 had spotting and mottling issues. This roll was not expired. I shot it a month before it was supposed to expire. I kept it in a dry box and yet it turned out this way. So even the lab itself confirmed that this was a spotting or mottling issue and that this was a backing paper issue. And what else can I say about Fujifilm Across 2? I am so bummed about the result of these photos. So we had a really nice afternoon at that beach and I'm kind of sad that the photos turned out this way. Pixel peepers like myself will always be a little bit regretful about how this role turned out, especially if I want to enlarge the photos in the future or print the photos and enlarge them in the future. That, those mottling and spotting little spots are really going to show. Um, another thing that uh, kind of bothered me during the during during shooting in the beach was that sand was flying everywhere and knowing that these mechanical um, medium format cameras uh, 
you know, have a lot of gears and moving parts, I was scared that the sand might get its make its way into those little parts that I cannot reach, and it might enter the gears and it might strip them down. But then again, but then again, if you have a camera that you want to use, I wouldn't limit myself just because of the environment that I'm in. I would take the camera out, use it how it should be used, and just enjoy, and just enjoy, basically, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it for what it is. Just enjoy the experience and try to document it. Um, so yeah, all right, we're trying different camera angles here. Just don't mind my camera angles. So what else can I say about, what else can I say about the Gupan? Well, the Gupan is definitely way hotter than Baguio, but uh, something that the Gupan obviously has that Baguio doesn't is very nice beaches. I wouldn't say white sand clean beaches, but these beaches are very wide, very long, very spacious, very open. The sand quality is a bit on the dark side, um, but very wide open spaces with relaxing um, windswept views. That's all I can say, I guess, about that. Um, also took the opportunity to photograph my son uh, in his new environment in the house in the Gupan, uh, which is very nicely made. Kudos to my mother-in-law. Um, with a very minimalistic Japanese sort of design. The, the family also took some bikes down to the Gupan. These are e-bikes, which I had fun riding around at night because you really don't need to pedal. And you can go as fast as I think 30 kilometers per hour was the top speed on the e-bike that I took. So yeah, that was fun, biking around the subdivision at night. Um, also, just basically hanging out, spending some time with my son, uh, exploring the many different things that the Gupan has to offer. So yeah, um, it was a very chill couple of days in the Gupan. Um, yeah, here are the photos, here are the videos. I hope you enjoy them. Again, this is Andrea Photo. I make photography videos. I don't know what it is I make now, but I guess I make photography videos, film photography videos around the Philippines, documenting my life, documenting my family's life. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.